Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today we want to talk about a technique called plating on LK150 knitting machine. You can use two contrasting colors of yarns and knit up very quickly. One side has one color and the back side is a different color. It looks complicated but it's actually very simple on the LK150 knitting machine. In the standard knitting machine, they have a special plate if you want to do the plating technique. But for LK150, you can do it just with the regular carriage. There are two slots you can place two different yarns, so it's very easy to make double thickness fabric. And I'm going to use my Knit Peak Palette yarn, that's a fingering weight. It's similar to the sock way yarn. You need it very thin for this technique because if it's too bulky, it's not going to work. The carriage is very difficult to pass through. And for the tension, I have the carriage to the highest tension, number nine. And for the mast tension, I keep it around five. For the plating technique, you need a very loose tension because you have two yarns together as a yarn when they knit. So I set it to number nine, the highest tension. According to the instruction book, you can see we thread two yarn, one on the left side, one on the right side. And uh, it says the left side should be the main yarn that goes to the main hole in the center like we usually need. And the secondary yarn, it goes to the side. There's a little slot on the side. So here is my setup. I have one ball goes to the left side and the secondary color on the right side. For the main yarn color, you can place it in the regular slot in the center. There's a hole in the center. It's more toward the left side and the secondary color is more toward the right side. There's a slot on the right side. It can go over here. That's where it should go. On the carriage, there's a little number here. There's one and the two. The one is the main yarn that's going to show up on the front side of the knitting. And the two, the second slot is going to show up on the back side. And we're just going to do the standard stockinette stitch. So it will be the standard setting. I'm just going to do a sample first. So I pull out 20 needles. I'm just going to do a simple E-Rob cast on with the two yarns held together. I have tension nine on my carriage and I'm going to need the first row. It will probably be easier to start with waist yarn so it doesn't have so much stress on the first row. But it will work. Just make sure you have the tension on high and use finger weight or lace weight yarn. After about two or three rows, I hang some weight and just keep knitting. You can start to see the secondary color is showing up on the back side. And we just keep knitting for a little bit more. Make sure the yarn going through the mast is loose enough so it doesn't get tangled or tighten the tension too much. So that's what it looks like after a few rows. You can see this is the back side. That's a lighter color facing you. And this is a carriage. The lighter color is on the number two slot. And now I'm going to switch this two. So the lighter color will be in the front. And I have to switch the location of the two balls so it doesn't get tangled. Now I switch the location of the two balls and uh, it looks better on the carriage. It doesn't get tangled up or twisted. 
So the lighter yang is in slot one, the one in the center, and uh, number two is the darker yang that's going to show up on the back side of the knitting. And we just continue knitting a few more rows. Now you can see the dark color is now facing you. This is the back side and the front side will be the other color. Another technique is weaving. You can add another color on top of whatever knitting you have. It doesn't have to be the two color plating. And this is very simple too. You can decide the area you want to weave and you can pull out the needles. For example, I pull out every other one. I can leave the last two, doesn't matter. And uh, starting from the side that's close to your carriage, you start to place the yarn on the needle. You go up and down. The first one I usually go from the top over and it's important to go from the side of the carriage because when you knit, you knit from this side because my carriage is on the right. And again, you need a looser tension for this one. I already have it on the highest, so we'll just Leave it and knit one row. So that's what it looks like. You can tighten up a little bit if you like. And you can keep going. You can pull out any stitches you want to weave. This one is a stitch off from the last row. And you for the yarn, you can go over the first one because the carriage is on the left side. So we do the yarn from the left side and just go up and down. And then knit another row. That's what it looks like. So it will create another color or pattern on the back side of the knitting. It doesn't really show on the front side. So that's another way to play with color. Now you can have three colors on the knitting. And this one doesn't have to be the same weight as the plating yarn. And it can be thicker or any decorative yarn, maybe fluffy yarn you will work fine too. And you can also make it vertical, maybe only the center few stitches. We'll try to do a few more rows. Now you can see the weaving yarn start to form in the center and you can design any pattern you like. So that's the plating and the weaving. It's very simple and it's fun to play with. Another way to add vertical color stripe is to have some drop stitch. For example, if you want to have some vertical color here, you can drop off one or two stitches. This is just sample, so I'm not going to worry about this part. Or just drop one, a drop stitch and place it back to the A position. And we can need a few rows.
that's what it looks like after you drop stitch and need a few rows you can see the bar here and then you can use latch up tool to latch up the bar or add a different color so I take it off the machine this is how I add the second color or the third color onto the stitches we just dropped you can just attach a yarn from the back and use your crochet hook to chain up the stitch just go to the space in between the bars and chain up so that's useful if you want to have some vertical color design it's also good for using a different way yarn because you are going to do this column by hand so you don't have to worry about the tension of the machine so that's what it looks like and I can also do this one we start from here that's the back side it's the opposite color the main yarn in the slot one always show up in the front we switch the color in the middle part we add some weaving that's only shown in the back side and you don't see that in the front side and then you can do the drop stitch and then latch up or crochet a different color to add some interest so that's my sample for today have fun and happy knitting